On June 30th, the Israeli Navy hijacked our small boat, the Spirit of Humanity, 19 miles off the coast of Gaza. They kidnapped 21 crew members and passengers, including a former U.S. Congresswoman and a Nobel laureate. Then they forced them into port in Israel. Was this an act of piracy? And did Israel break international maritime law? The answer is yes. An act of piracy is defined by the law of nations, includes illegal acts of violence or detention committed on the high seas or outside the jurisdiction of any state. Israel's hijacking of our boat fits the first part of that definition. The Spirit's unarmed passengers traveled on the high seas, vulnerable, uncertain if they would live or die, when the Israeli Navy surrounded them and took them prisoner. But this act of piracy pales in comparison to Israel's ongoing hijacking of Palestinian fishing boats. Would you tell us about the day you were attacked and injured? On the 12th of uh, March 2007, uh, we light our lights that we need for fishing, and the Navy was uh, uh, no and see see us in the boat are as a fisherman working all. How far were you from shore? Beside Rafa. shore of Rafa. How do you know this? How do you know you have a GPS? GPS. Yes, we have GPS already. Suddenly, after we spent the night, it was at 5.30 in the morning, we heard uh, the pump and shouting suddenly. The shooting was about 30 minutes continuously. Then I heard uh, the big sound and I felt I lost my hand. No one seems to have the will to stop Israel. It acts with impunity, shooting Palestinian fishermen, kidnapping them, forcing them into Israeli waters, and stealing their boats. Just since the ceasefire in January, 21 fishing boats have been hijacked. When Israel returned three of them, they forced the fishermen to sign a document saying they would not go to court. If they didn't sign, they would not get their boats back. Israel has kidnapped 54 Palestinian fishermen since the first of the year, trying to force them into collaborating with the Israeli occupation. Otherwise, if they don't agree, they will lose their boats and they will lose their livelihood. A 1994 agreement signed by Israel stated that Palestinian fishermen have the right to fish up to 20 miles from Gaza's coastline. However, in 1996, Israel began to illegally reduce that fishing zone to 12 miles in direct violation of international maritime law. Thank <laughs> you. 
from 2002 to 2003, they squeezed the fishermen down to six miles from Gaza's shore. Today, it is often one to three miles, enforced by Israeli gunboats that shoot to kill Palestinian fishermen as they try to make a living for their families. Charges of piracy should be brought against the Israelis who committed, aided, and abetted the hijacking of boats and the kidnapping of Palestinian and international civilians. Governments and international civil society must do all that we can to pull Israel back into the bounds of international law and truly support the self-determination and human rights of the Palestinians and those of us who support them. Remember. An act of piracy, as defined by the law of nations, includes illegal acts of violence or detention committed on the high seas. Has Israel committed acts of piracy against the Palestinian fishermen and the international observers? And have they been committing them for the past decade? The answer is a resounding yes.